Hey everybody, this is Brian. If you're following along, this is video 17 in our HTML tutorial. Um, today we're going to be discussing styles with forms. A lot of people get confused and think that forms are an entity in themselves, but really you should stylize the content inside of a form. For example, you can see that I'm starting to, if I could type, create a table inside of a form. Now what this does is allows me to split the information in a manner that the user will be able to read and understand what they're supposed to do. For example, we will just simply uh, let me copy from another page here. I'm cheating for the sake of time. We will just paste a field in here or an input called first name. And then we will create a label for this. Get rid of that. And that's our first row. We will create another row with last name. Whoops. Made some redundant work for myself, didn't I? And you're going to want to do some minor stylizing. Save your work, flip over to your web page, refresh, and you can see now you can put like a label, first name, and label last name. That way the user can specifically see what you're trying to get them to fill in. That's pretty typical, and that's how the majority of the web pages in the world are really built. It would be helpful if we put a submit button in there. Now remember the submit always goes before the end of the form. One, one thing that we haven't talked about yet is the text area. The text area is just a big text box. Typically this is where you want the user to enter a lot of information. So we're gonna go ahead and just paste one in here and you can see it's just it's the start tag, text area, give it a name. You also going to give it the number of rows to display and the number of columns. Remember, rows go across, columns go up and down, and then the value or text that you want to display. And then give it an end tag of text area. We'll break that up so it's a little easier for you to understand. So you're starting the text area, you're putting the information you want inside of it, and you're ending it. And let's put a couple more hard returns between that and the submit button. Now, we, you can see we have a table which contains our first name and last name plus some text to explaining what we're supposed to do. And we have this very big text box that we can now type in. And it comes complete with a scroll bar. And there's our ever faithful submit button. I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining. Um, unless I get a lot of demand for HTML tutorials, we're going to be moving on to Visual Basic in the next few tutorials. So stick around. If you have any questions or comments, drop me a line. Thanks.